What is going on, everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. In today's episode, we're going to discuss what would you do with a drunken sailor. And by drunken sailor, I mean, what do you do when your seeds don't germinate? There's so many things that you could do with a drunken sailor, like shave his belly with a rusty razor, or there could be reasons why your seeds aren't germinating. And we're going to go through every single reason why, because a lot of people panic, and there are so many reasons why your seeds aren't germinating. And, you know, we could sit here and make a song about it, but I'd rather just talk about it. So let's go. All right. So the first reason why your seeds are not germinating is because they're just old. Now I made this mistake as a beginning gardener, and I probably still am making this mistake because I have a seed collection. And in that collection, there's probably seed that's five, six, maybe even seven years old. And the thing with old seed is that old seed just doesn't sprout the way that new seed does. That's because seed viability decreases over time. And within the first couple years, it drops off the most. After say four or five years, it starts to kind of plateau a little bit and it gets harder and harder to hit true zero when it comes to seed germination. In fact, I did a whole deep dive episode on just understanding seed viability and how old is too old. It's a great video I recommend watching, but it's definitely really in depth for someone that wants to really learn about seed viability. At just surface level though, you typically want seed that's gonna be a year or two old. And how you can tell the age of a seed is the back of every seed packet should have, it's a law, but it should have a, a packed for date or kind of, a, um, kind of a season on the back of the packet. So our packets all say packed for 2022, 2023, 2024, whatever year it is. And so you know if you have old seed, the, the people packing these packets should be putting fresh and highly viable seed inside of the packet. At least we do, because why would you sell poor quality seed? But when it comes to uh, you know an unopened packet, if it's marked for that date, that should be fine. And then you can kind of go down some other lists and we'll talk about. But that's the first part you start at is, is the seed old? If the seed's not old, then you can ask some other questions. Okay, so the seed's not old. What could be the next reason? Well. With the actual growing conditions that you're exposing them to could be a reason why your seeds aren't germinating. The first thing that you have to ask is, is it too cold? Now here I have some Chiltepin peppers. Pepper seeds like very warm soil to germinate. And out here in the greenhouse, we're starting all of our cold weather stuff, but I'm not starting any peppers right now in the greenhouse. It's not warm enough for that. The nighttime temperatures are still dipping down into like 32 to 34 degrees, which is perfectly fine for cold weather stuff, but these pepper seeds are not gonna germinate in 34 degrees, it's just not. Now, what you could do is you could add a heat mat to keep the soil warm, but if you're just germinating your, your uh, pepper seeds and it's in a cold room or the soil's cold or you're trying to do it outside, a reason why they might not be germinating is because it's just too cold. So you have to ask yourself, is the seed that I'm germinating uh, right for the current temperature? Okay, so the temperature is correct. Now I want you to ask if the season is correct. Now the season makes a big difference. Is it the wet season or the dry season? With things like beans, bean seeds don't germinate during the wet season. And there's a reason why farmers will wait until the drier season to plant things like beans and corn. And that's because beans and corn are very susceptible to soil borne funguses, such as rot and other, other uh, bacterias and funguses that live in the soil that come out during early spring when the soil is cool and damp. And so with corn and beans, if they're not germinating, there's a chance that they rotted in the soil because it was just too cold and too damp. So you wanna wait until it's a little bit warmer and a little bit drier to plant your beans and your corn. So it just depends on you know the crop, it depends on the season, because you could plant things like radishes when it's cool and damp, they're not gonna have a problem. But if you're trying to germinate corn and beans and you're having a problem, check the season, check the season, it's really important. All right, now the next thing with season is, uh, is, it, uh, is it cold or hot outside? Now with seed starting, obviously seed starting like with peppers, they need warm soil, right? Well, what about carrots? Well, carrots like cool soil and they like soil that is you know, below 60 degrees. They're kind of a springtime crop that you'd start. If the soil gets too warm, the soil is just too warm for the crop and the seeds just won't germinate. Also, 
the seeds like damper soil. The seeds like soil to be slightly on the more moist side. If the soil dries out, germination rate plummets. And so with things like carrots, you really want the soil to be damp and uh, damp and a little bit cool. Also, um, when it comes to darkness, right? Um, are your seeds, when it comes to carrots, are they being shaded? We like to take a piece of cardboard and cover our carrots up because seeds, uh, carrot seeds will germinate better in the dark than they will in the light. And so to increase viability and to increase our success, you have to know what this, you know, what you're trying to sprout and the conditions it needs to sprout because every seed is gonna be different. I mean, you cannot sit here and take four different seeds and say they all need the same conditions because if you think that you're going to fail with seed starting and that really falls under the user error. You can't just say, well, I didn't know. I mean, you could say I didn't know, but, but you can't use that excuse forever, right? Eventually you want success. And if you want success, you have to understand the needs of those individual crops. All right, the next reason why your seeds might not be germinating is because they need special needs. Now, special needs when it comes to seeds could be things like scarification or stratification. Now, scarification is the process of just scraping the seeds and kind of scuffing them. I have two seeds here that enjoy being kind of scuffed a little bit. Now, you don't need to scuff them. If you are, you know, or you're, you're a skilled seed starter, you can be totally fine. But what I like to do is I like to take kind of some 200, 250 grit sandpaper and just ever so gently scuff the seeds so that they actually will take on moisture better. That's because seeds like this green globe artichoke, they'll germinate okay if you know what you're doing. But if you're a beginning seed starter, these hard seeds here, they need a little bit of scuffing to help absorb moisture into that hard seed coating. And so by giving them a tad bit of a scuff, I'm not saying sand the smithereens out of it, but just scuff it enough to just take in a little bit more uh, water will help speed up that germination so you have a little more success. Same thing with asparagus seed, you can scuff it. Any like really, really hard seed can benefit from a tad bit of a scuff and it's not gonna be a problem. As long as you don't you know, scuff too deep to where you actually scratch the inside seed, you're gonna be fine. All, the only objective is just to kind of take the sheen off of the outside of the seed coating so that it can help absorb some moisture. Now, the other kind of special need would be something like stratification. Now, stratification applies to perennials. And so things like lavender or strawberries, a lot of your kind of perennial seeds, they can benefit from some cold stratification. And what is that? Well, cold stratification is basically simulating winter. It's winter out right now. And when perennials drop their seeds, they're used to experiencing winter. And if you just take fresh seed and throw them into a grow room without cold stratifying, certain seeds just won't germinate very well because they need those conditions to be met to kind of tell the seed, all right, it's time to wake up. It's the equivalent of an alarm clock for the seeds. If you don't set your alarm clock, some seeds just will sleep right on through the morning and into the afternoon, and then you wonder, why are my seeds not germinating? And then they sit there for so long, they end up rotting and molding. So what you really need to do is just take a damp paper towel, put them on a damp paper towel, very, very damp. Uh, just not saturated, but very damp. Throw them in the fridge for three to four weeks, take them out, and then try to germinate them. The objective is to essentially let them know that they went through some cold weather. And we have videos on cold stratification. Again, it doesn't have to be saturated, like soaking wet and dripping, but it should be noticeably damp because that moisture is gonna penetrate the seed throughout the cold stratification process. And the cold weather from the fridge is gonna simulate winter. And then once you get it out, you should find sprouts in, depending on what you're growing, one to three weeks, which is great and, and a whole lot better than not at all. And so some seeds just need some special needs and knowing those special needs can kind of answer why are your seeds not germinating? All right, and the next reason why your seeds are not germinating is because you just haven't given enough time. Now, I will say that gardeners are probably some of the most patient group of people that I've ever come to know. It's just a hobby that requires patience, but I will also say that in certain circumstances, gardeners can be some of the most impatient people that I've ever known, especially around the time that it takes for a seed to germinate. Certain seeds just take longer, and I know as a beginning gardener, I found myself digging in the soil, excavating them up, and like, oh, they haven't sprouted yet. Shoot, what did I do wrong? Well, 
The fact of the matter is they just weren't ready to sprout yet because they were working on sprouting and I just dug them up and disturbed them. With things like peppers, you might be talking two to three weeks, 10 to 20 days for germination. Whereas something like beans, you might be looking at like three to five days. So the germination time is dramatically different based on what you're growing. And the back of every seed packet, if it's a reputable seed source, should be able to tell you the germination time for that variety. That kind of sets your expectations. So if I'm starting beans and it's taking like 15 to 20 days and I still don't see anything, that is well outside that window of, uh, it's well outside that window of like an acceptable time for that seed to germinate. And that's when you can kind of start saying, uh, I might've done something wrong. Maybe I didn't start at the right season or maybe the soil was too dry or maybe it was too wet or maybe it was too cold. I can ask those questions once it goes past that date, but until it goes past that date by a reasonable amount, if it says like eight to 10 days, don't start panicking on day 11. That's unrealistic. Start worrying about it on like day 15 or day 17. That's really where you start asking those questions, but don't start panicking right away. And also too, just know that different seeds have different germination times and it's gonna vary based on what you're growing. So just know that going into it because the worst thing you can do is dig up the soil like I used to do and excavate them up to see why they're not germinating. Because on the chance they are starting to germinate and they have a little taproot forming, you break that taproot off and the seed will for sure be dead. So I don't wanna see you guys do that. I killed so many plants and I can, everyone that's killed plants by doing that, raise your hand. Oh man. I am such a terrible, terrible example of that. I killed hundreds, you guys, hundreds. So trust me, if you're a beginning gardener, I have killed so many by excavating them up and wondering why they're not germinating and then realizing I broke the taproot on them and then they never germinate at all. So that is a big reason. All right, and the final reason why your seeds might not be germinating is because of what I kind of consider, it's like a broad range of reasons, but these are kind of like, etc. reasons, right? The ETC dot at the end of a list. It's just a bunch of other reasons that you can kind of look at. So with certain seeds, like one of those etc. might be soaking. Did you try soaking the seed? Some seeds just like to be soaked overnight for a little bit, or some seeds like to be soaked for two to four hours. Do your research. With things like beans, I like to soak them for four to six hours before I plant them. It just helps to kind of get the seed started. Now with things like corn, you could soak them for four to eight hours. Other seeds you could soak for 12 to 24 hours, but pre-soaking your seed might be a reason why they're taking slightly longer. There could be a reason like, you know, did you inoculate the seed, right? Some seeds like to be inoculated. Again, this really has to do with research, but I wanna give you all of the reasons, or I guess all the reasons that I know of why a seed might not germinate. Um, you know, could the seed be getting too hot? Um, like if you have them on a heat mat, could the heat mat be too hot, right? Uh, we talk about how a heat mat can be beneficial if the soil is cold, but if the soil is warm or the seed doesn't need a heat mat, it can actually cause some damage. So that's kind of another et cetera reason, another user error reason. Another user error reason could be that you're, you're, you're over watering, right? Like if you're watering your seedling trays and you're just watering too frequently, and your seeds are rotting because they're just getting saturated in water, that's another kind of etc. reason. Another thing is seeds didn't come from a reputable source. Um, another ETC dot, you know, there's a huge list of like little teeny tiny tidbit reasons why your seeds might not be germinating. And I find that if I get seeds from an, from an unreputable source, kind of a fly by night online company that has no reviews, no reputation, no quality standards, you know, and my gardener is a great source to get seed. But something like, you know, some of your sources on eBay or Amazon that are just like random people selling seeds to make a quick buck, I, I can't guarantee the quality and the viability of those things because they could be in business one second and then closed the next and not have any ramifications for that. And they don't care about selling poor quality seed. They just care about making a buck. And so you really have to know the source of seed that you're going with because when I was first starting out, I would say, ooh, shiny object, ooh, shiny object. I didn't care where they came from. I just tried any seed that I thought was cool. And I would say the problem is when you get into those really unique varieties, sometimes like I wanted, I remember vividly, I wanted to try growing a banana. So I wanted to try growing, I bought banana seeds, right? I didn't know if they sent me banana seeds or seeds for something else. And the problem was is I ended up with really poor germination. So um, those are things that you wanna consider 
when you're germinating. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. If you did, make sure to comment down in the comments box down below what you learned and some uh, kind of some seed starting mistakes that you've made over the years. And uh, you know, I, we can all kind of share in our in our mistakes we've made together. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. And as always, this is Luke from the Mi Gardener channel reminding you to grow bigger. Take care, guys. Bye.